Yo, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's that time of day again. Back to it. Tuesday Madness. <laughs> New York session live. I'll be frank with you, man. It's been a boring day in trading absolutely boring there's been no movement and hopefully the new york session is going to be bringing the fire mad love and respect for everyone passing through to today's live what's the story across the board ladies and gentlemen bitcoin has come straight back down and if you watched last night's live we had addressed the idea that you always take what is given okay Take what is given by the marketplace, ladies and gentlemen, because nothing is guaranteed. They only care about liquidity. They don't care about your opinion of Bitcoin as a utility. They don't care about what government is saying. They don't care about Michael Saylor. They don't care. They only care about you putting the money in the charts, ladies and gentlemen. That's all they care about. It's all about that liquidity. <laughs> Mad love and respect to all the beautiful people passing through. Shout out from North Carolina. What's good? What is good? <laughs> Scorpio, what's happening? Who else is in the room? Bowie, STK, you did well done. Sack Trades, what is going on, my bro? How you doing, my man? Crypto Bag, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Hybrid is in the building pattern watchers are present so ladies and gentlemen let's get with the flavor welcome to the new york live stream we're about to dive into it we got 10, 20 minutes until the new york futures markets open what i'm going to do is break down price action understand what happened last night and then we're going to get straight into the madness and the chaos of the first 30 minutes or so of the futures markets absorbing what had happened last night so ladies and gentlemen if you are new to the channel be sure to like and subscribe at the end of the stream let's have a conversation guys okay okay then so firstly guys it was a bit of a mad evening last night okay firstly let me just bring up bitcoin's price action from last night so that we can make sense of exactly what is going on. We've got a little bit of a window right now because Bitcoin is going to be moving very shortly in the New York futures markets. So let's just zoom out and understand what has been going on. This is what's been going on. Liquidity. Okay. They had come away from the psychological ranges, ladies and gentlemen. We understand that always ends up happening at the start of the week. The sooner they come away from the psychological ranges, which I told you on the Sunday to mark off in your charts as 29,982. And then, of course, 29,684. Bitcoin makes the move to the upside. Happy days. 50 EMA comes to the price. We know that's a bit of a problem. We had these green vector candles in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be surprised, but Bitcoin's been doing this for quite some time. Look, are you bored yet of trading? I'll say it again. Are you bored? Because they do the same thing over and over again. This is a liquidity run. Okay? It's a run for money, ladies and gentlemen, and they don't care about anything else but money. Go back in the charts. Train your eyes to understand the same thing happens over and over again. Look at this same thing with Bitcoin. They don't care about Bitcoin being higher in price. The thing is, is when they get people to commit in these sort of zones, they get millions and millions of dollars worth of commitment from traders that they can exploit. OK, that's the key thing. That's what's crucial about understanding the hybrid system. Because the hybrid system brings you into the understanding of what he's likely to do. The takeaway for you is if the 5 and 13 EMA show signs of breaking down when you see a nice move to the upside, then that could be an indication that things are going to turn. They've made the move up. Look, I say this all the time. Mr. Market Maker, here, 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 and here. One, two, three stopping volume candles. That 800 EMA yet again being a problem for us. They're not shy of that 800 EMA. Yesterday, they were waiting and then they tapped that 800 to only rip it back down again. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I want to try and reprogram your minds into not focusing on what Bitcoin's price should be, on what anyone says that Bitcoin's price should be. I was on social media yesterday and I could see people talking, Bitcoin going to 150K, Bitcoin going to 200K. And that's around right about this point in the chart when Bitcoin makes that nice move to the upside. How relevant is that for me right now that Bitcoin has dropped to the downside? Where's 200K Bitcoin now? 
Where's 150k Bitcoin? Nowhere. Please, ladies and gentlemen, just get it into your minds that your goal is to exploit movement. Movement is all you care about, not price. What they do around price is important, but not to make any trades based on the idea that I think Bitcoin needs to be at 30k or it needs to be at 20k for us to understand that it's going to go higher because that's where the miners are going to be all good. And then all the whales are going to be happy with Bitcoin at that price so they can then push it up. Irrelevant. It's irrelevant, ladies and gentlemen, and this move right here solidifies that in the zone. Okay? Making the understanding of this last night. Um, where were we? Here we go. This was a projection I shared to the Patreons last night. It was roughly, yeah, it was just, no, earlier on in the session. Straight after the live, I believe it was. Yes. We were anticipating that we could experience a little bit of a stop hunt in the zone. These were the zones in the chart. We would then anticipate if they're going to hold price in these zones, we would see them moving up and down and building the profile of price action to come back down towards the psychological ranges. Happy days. If anyone managed to exploit that, good on you. If you didn't, never mind. We have now got the opposite side to the coin now. We now have a big red vector candle in the zone. And that's two as well. These are important points in the chart, ladies and gentlemen, because the same way that they had trapped the longs to the upside is the same way that they're now trapping the shorts to the downside. But look, this aggressive move to the downside still keeps Bitcoin structure intact. Okay? It's not over until it's over. Drop, retrace, this is the structure we are waiting for. We are waiting for Bitcoin to break out of this zone. The only time we are concerned about Bitcoin is if it starts making its way down towards this structure right here. And then, of course, we have the return to the wick. These are the two points that you must be marking off in your chart every single day, ladies and gentlemen, so that you are aware and that there are no surprises when it comes to you going to the chart and making trades. Now, if you're a day trader, it's not really relevant that you pay attention to those zones because price is too far away from those points. OK, but for a holder's perspective, for anyone that's in a position with Bitcoin, be mindful of these zones because the, reje the rejection of the 200 EMA on the four hour time frame is giving us more information about this move. If Bitcoin is going to move back up, ladies and gentlemen, they have to come back up into this zone as soon as possible. Now, we have got a bit of a problem in relation to the dollar index. Bitcoin will not go up if the dollar index continues to move higher. That's the truth. OK, now, if we flip over to the charts of the dollar index itself so we can make sense of all of this. Flip that over there. Happy days. Here's the dollar index. Look what you've got. Dollar index creeping back up, appreciating 2.8%, ladies and gentlemen. Dollar index is doing good, trending upwards. Looking to the left of the chart, you can see that we do have some interesting points in the dollar index where the vector candles reside. In these zones right here and in these zones, they don't show them on trading view, but on MT4, they will show them. We've got a nice little W structure right here. And the idea is that dollar index is going to slowly creep back up. Roll over to oil. What's oil doing? 117 makes a high of the day to $121 a barrel. They're talking about $150 a barrel, man. That is madness. They are now fully into that previous projected zone on oil that we've been looking out for. I would hope that oil does this structure. This is what I'm waiting for. Because if it does break beyond the 130 zone, 150 could be a promise, ladies and gentlemen. So please be mindful. The more oil costs... The less it's going to, the, the less speculative people are going to be when it comes to investing, because the cost of doing business, the cost of living, is going to be so much more, and they have to factor that in. Dollar yen, look at this nut job of an asset shooting up. Look at the formation of a pattern. Look at that. Beautiful. Love that. Rise, retrace, continuation. Dive into it. Please look at it. Learn it. Look at the vector candles. First green vector candle that breaks at strength on the higher time frames. You can see red vector, red vector, red, red, red. And then they shift out of the zone. Big candlestick right there. Confirms the move to the upside. Happy days. Yeah. 
Let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum takes a battering as well. Unfortunately, Ethereum does take the battering. Problem we've got with Ethereum is Ethereum has already recovered Wix and it's got this last zone right here, ladies and gentlemen, which resides at the 16.93 point. That's a bit of an issue because price is close towards it. And what you'll notice is Ethereum will move to its zone sooner than later. OK, and then Bitcoin will follow suit. Back into Bitcoin, you can see that it's now consolidating in this zone. We're going to pull up the book map to make sense of what is going on inside of this area. Now, listen, when you get this situation, guys, the 50 has now moved to price. OK, we've got psychological ranges in sight. We've had one green vector candle in this zone. That could be an indication that they may be looking to hold the range. The red vector candle down here hasn't finalized fully. So there could be an indication that things might actually turn back up. It is beyond its range daily low. Now, the range daily low is the absolute maximum that price can travel in one trading session. All right. But it doesn't mean that it can't go beyond it. So we are naturally expecting Bitcoin to reverse back up. Where is the question and when is important? Now, coming into this week, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have many news announcements. Yellen is going to be speaking at three o'clock today. So we are going to have some interesting movements based on what Yellen says. She's already admitted that the... The Fed was wrong about inflation and what can we expect from that? If you roll over to the news in that aspect, you're going to understand a couple of things if they have decided to roll out some of that information. Um, no, no, nothing, nothing. They're not putting anything out. There you go. Treasury yields muted as markets await inflation indicators. So that would mean that we are actually waiting for this week's results. These right here, core price index. OK, so Friday. All right. More importantly, the Eurozone on Thursday has a very interesting press conference, which is going to dictate as to whether or not the dollar index is going to go down or up. And if it goes in the favor of the euro, that means Bitcoin's going to go up. We could, ladies and gentlemen, get some really boring price action from now up until Friday. Because traders across the board are going to be muted with their response to everything. Look at the Nasdaq. Nasdaq is just dripping slowly to the downside. OK, it's broken this middle structure right here. It needs to hold. We got vector candles that they could actually come back into, which would then lead Bitcoin to follow suit. SPX doing a great job of holding, which could be reflected in the idea of traders waiting for those inflation indicators. OK. That's where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ideally, if Bitcoin's going to move higher, this W formation would complete and we would have ourselves the beautiful rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. These are our, our zones. I'm waiting for that point on the S&P, ladies and gentlemen, I'm waiting for that 4,400. That will be the sweet spot, which would then lead Bitcoin to moving back up, ladies and gentlemen. That's the truth. So from now till tonight, even going into Wednesday and Thursday, Price action may be stalled in this zone where Thursday is going to be the determining factor and Friday being that madness where we will see some very interesting price action. It's all going to be on Yellen today at 3 p.m., ladies and gentlemen. And as always, 3 p.m., I've got to go and get my daughter. So let me just bring everything into perspective for you right now. Let's break down the charts. We've got the futures market starting in eight minutes time. And let's start making sense of it. Here we go. Book map. What do we see? OK, then. So. I need to trigger my liquidations. So I'll add that to my chart. All right, then there's my liquidation point. Happy days. Wonderful. OK, then. Cool. So now we're going to wait for that information to pass in. Now you can see that we've got orders all over the place, guys. All right. 505 Bitcoin at twenty nine thousand and fifty cents. Twenty nine thousand and fifty. 502 Bitcoin at 29,950. Here we go. Psychological low in sight. To make sense of this move, go to the smaller time frames because the clues are there. The clues are in the smaller time frames. Just look at the volatility of the 50 EMA. It's manic. OK, now it's compressed. We have this concentration of price action in this area. OK, now your goal is to try and work out what is it that they're actually trying to do? Are they trying to build longs or build shorts? 
So what your goal is with the hybrid system, and if you haven't downloaded the hybrid system yet, pinned to the chat is the access to the Traders Reality website where you can download it free of charge and the instructions there will take you straight back into TradingView and you can favorite it and then you'll have access to it through and throughout. Then you just need to get yourself into the live stream so you can understand exactly each aspect of the hybrid system. All right. Now, look, we have ourselves a... Well, what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? We've got a phone call from Steve. Nah, 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 sorry. I'm not speaking to you, bro. Nah, I'm not interested. No. Now, you've you brought it too soon to the, to the psychological ranges, bro. It's Thursday. Why are you doing it now? Not interested. Yeah, piss, piss off. Anyway, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Steve, if you are new to the channel, Steve is a market maker that I'm in close ties with. And he calls me every time. He watches the stream. He's in the chat right now. He won't say what his name is, but his name is really Steve. All right. So just be cautious of the chat, ladies and gentlemen. You might see a clue in there. Just be careful. Anyways, whenever Steve calls, we usually tend to get a bit of movement in the chart. OK, and what time is it? It's 25 past two. Futures markets open in five minutes time, guys. But what I want you to understand is this. The development of a move. They've moved Bitcoin down aggressively. OK, that's cool. They've come and eaten all of those longs that were opened with this move to the upside. Remember, social media is something that the market maker is fully aware of. OK, can you imagine having people because not a lot of people are in the game of trading and it's only through social media that people are involved in trading because they only focus on the success of what trading brings. They fall in love with the idea of what trading can do for you as an individual as opposed to falling in love with the idea of the science behind why price goes up and down. OK. Now, what you've got to be aware of is this. If the market maker. Has liquidity. Because you can only buy when someone sells. All right. He's going to be monitoring social media. They have people monitoring social media. Now, you can imagine big platforms, social media, big accounts, YouTube channels. If they're all pushing the narrative that they favor higher prices, you don't think market makers are aware of that? Come on. You can't just think that they're completely dismissing the idea that you've got thousands and thousands of people trying to push a narrative of where they believe price is going to go and you can only buy when someone sells. OK, so what are those reasons for people buying and selling? So and so said this. Oh, this crypto analyst has declared Bitcoin to 100K. Oh, you know, I'm going to get him Buy the dip bottom fishing. All of these terms that people are familiar with in trying to catch direction and sentiment behind why Bitcoin should go up or whether it should go down. Ignore it. Don't even listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm here to try and get you to understand the system. That's all I'm here for. I'm the messenger. Steve's the guy who runs the show. Well, I, I pay him to be the actor of the channel. In Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> all right, let's roll with it. Here we go. We've got some movement right now. So... Got a couple of liquidations right there. That's cool. We've got some liquidity coming up here. 328 Bitcoin at 29,800. Now, 29,800 is below the psychological low, ladies and gentlemen. We could be projecting Bitcoin coming up to that point because that is a point of interest where the liquidity is residing in the order book. Now, remember, in the order book itself, you will witness price. Here we go. First liquidations. When we see liquid liquidity coming into the chart, or should I say when Mr. Market Maker is running for the liquidity, they start in the process. We should see three more hits. They should be finalizing with liquidations to the upside. OK, because the liquidity is there for them to take. Look, the vector candles are present. They've already got into the habit of moving price up. OK, so they're advertising. Yo, Bitcoin could actually move back up right now. OK, but all the guys who are going short are trying to force price down lower because their narrative says that they favor lower prices in Bitcoin. Cool. If it does go down, cool. But if it's not going to go down now, it will go down later. And now Mr. Market Maker needs to move price up in order for him to move it down. And likewise, he needs to move it down in order for him to move it up. 
Bitcoin's been dripping away from November's high all the way down to where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, people are anticipating the reversal of the market and start a big bull run, but it will be ready when it's time for price to move up. As long as it keeps moving up, you will then have that question as how long is this bull market going to last? And then a couple of months into the bull market, people will then be saying this is not going to be sustainable. It's going to turn over. And then it continues again for another three to four months. And then at the top of the bull market, that is when everyone declares it's a bullish market, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up as much Bitcoin cryptocurrency as you physically can. And then what happens? We get the retrace. Everyone still holds their positions because we're in a bullish market. It continues down lower. And then they recover all of the move from the last four months of a bullish run or the anticipation of a bullish run to the upside. It's a psychological game, guys. I don't care what anyone else says to me. The game is psychological because you're needing to given you're, you need to be given a reason to buy. That's why. Everyone wants to make money in this game. That's the truth. So we need to advertise ways of making money in this channel, in, in, in this in this way of trading. We look at indicators. We look at experts. We look at all sorts. We look for advice. Where do you think Bitcoin's going? Up or down? <laughs> Bitcoin up or down? It goes up and it goes down. So how do you distinguish a direction? Well, that's where the hybrid system comes into play. Because whether you focus on Bitcoin going up or down, you are taking away a massive part of the actual whole, the whole game of trading. Follow the money. Okay? Follow the money because that's all you need to do. Because the money is the reason why people will buy. And the money is the reason why people will sell. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, going into the book map itself. We have now got the futures markets open and it's now going to start getting busy, ladies and gentlemen. US Brinks box. Does anybody remember this image from last night's live? Does anyone remember this image from last night's live? The Brinks box play. The principle says that we expect them to initiate a stop hunt in this zone. Okay? Coming from a low, we initiate we expect them to do this to them initiate a move back up. This is what we're waiting for. Let's see if we do get that play, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Delta's coming in 249 Bitcoin at the 29522 zone. They start to take some of the liquidity up here. Now remember, these orders in here are only as good as, as as long as they stay in the order book. They are not filled yet. So on the right side of the book map, these are orders that haven't been filled. If you pay close attention, you will see that the actual liquidity itself sometimes it appears sometimes it disappears okay and what you want to pay pay attention to is the fact that this big red line right here is a high liquidity order so the longer that it stays in the chart the more inclined we are to believe that price is going to gravitate towards that zone okay bitcoin is trailing below the key 30,000 zone right we're on the five minute time frame so we're probably going to see some activity here we go here we go the vwap is all the way up there ladies and gentlemen we're trading away from the vwap we've had some liquidations here some there but not many liquidations are coming into the chart just yet there's not that much liquidity down here it doesn't look like it here we go now we've got some liquidations right there so longs are being liquidated Longs are being liquidated. We're forming the Brinks box at the lowest point of the range today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one, two, three hits. Violet Vector Candle on the five-minute time frame, ladies and gentlemen. We've got liquidity at 29,524 Bitcoin, 26 Bitcoin. Okay, let's see if they can follow through with this. Big Delta, two, seven, 705 Bitcoin in that zone. I need to just zoom in ever so slightly just to make sense of what's going on here. Got really a lot of liquidity in this area here. Traders that had placed orders but cancelled the orders, which would imply that if they are going to reverse down to that point, we would expect commitment to come into the chart. Here we go. Nice. Look at that phenomenal stopping volume candle right there, ladies and gentlemen. US Brink session on its way. US right now is absorbing the idea of any news announcements last night. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin green vector candle. Here it is. It's making its way. 580. See that? 580 Bitcoin just swept up out of nowhere. It didn't even have time to sit in the order book. It was eaten alive. Liquidation point one. Liquidation point two. Look, where's that liquidity gone? It's disappeared. It disappeared. That's a clue. This could be the stop hunt, ladies and gentlemen. This could be part of the stop hunt. Here we go. Psychological low is what we want to see Bitcoin take. If they can break the structure of the 29735 zone, happy days. But we're not in out of the woods just yet, guys. Not out of the woods just yet. It's a nice, fast move with Bitcoin. Very fast move. They need to break this area here and make their way towards yesterday's low. We are trading at really extended ranges in the chart. I need to actually pull up the chart right now and have a look at the dollar index. Dollar index, dollar index, dollar yen is right there. I need to flip on the dollar index to make sense of this because that would imply 
But they are there you go sharp drop down on the dollar index right there that's happy days for us ethereum forming a beautiful w formation right there ladies and gentlemen trading close towards the psychological low bitcoin trying to make its way in we've got these zones psychological low yesterday's low 200 ema on the five minute time frame let's just pull that up on the four hour time frame it's screaming a retrace but how long is it going to take before it gets to that point ladies and gentlemen this is the critical point of this move because if they do decide to bring bitcoin up in this session or over the next couple of days then the cpi re readings for the inflation might be a problem for the US, which would then lead Bitcoin to come back down again. That's what's really important about this play. If they do come up again and if you have exploited a long, OK, and price makes its way up into the green, into the red vector candle, pay yourselves, man. Get that money, put it in your account. Happy days. Start again. Pay yourselves. There is no glory in talking about a profitable trade that turned into a negative trade. There's no glory in that. All right. It's nothing to look forward to. You make money in the charts. You pay yourself. OK, you put your money, you put your bank card into an ATM and you program your pin. It spits money out. When you take your card out, are you going to still stand there waiting for more money to come out? No, you're going to get your money and chip. Because you've done it. You've got your money. Let's get out. Start again. That's the name of trading, ladies and gentlemen. Take a breath before I collapse on the floor. You know what I mean, man. You know what I mean. I don't I, I Some people think I'm emotional. I am not emotional. I'm just speaking into speculation, man. I'm speaking at the speed of price. That's what it is. Look at that. Big vector candle pushes to the upside. We've got liquidations at 29K. That tells me that liquidity is up here. So there's traders getting liquidated. Now they're trying to add more positions to run for the shorts to the downside. This tells me rise, retrace, continuation to try and test that VWAP. They could get to the VWAP all the way up here, which would sit at the 29,792. OK, so now what we need to do now that we've seen an aggressive move up, the delta was negative down here at 653. Now, for anybody new to the channel, will understand that the delta is the net buys and sells behind price. So when we see Delta being negative, it means they're hitting the bids. That means they're marking price down lower. People are selling, selling. But guess what? You can't sell if no one buys. So who's in control? OK, it's always at the turning point where you see the highest Delta negative or positive. That's where they turn price because that's where they've got the most commitment of traders. That's where most of the sales were triggered. And Delta is a bit misleading because you read negative Delta and it tells you that it's showing high selling pressure wrong there you go look here we go can we get that psychological low leading into yesterday's low ladies and gentlemen the liquidity is there we can see that the liquidations are present events here we've got 14 events that means traders orders in terms of data is being passed through over to the book map to tell us that they are getting liquidated continuously as it was moving up so now we are anticipating the market maker to then continue with his move up we should be seeing liquidity coming into this point if price moves up aggressively we should see liquidity coming into it but we have the vwap so please be mindful there may be a bit of a resistance here because up here is where the sell orders were triggered and the idea is that mr market maker has forced price up to lift the ask to sell into premium because of all the positions he's been building long from in the last 10 to 12 hours. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Does that make sense? This might do a little rocket to the 30k zone, probably. <laughs> oh, man. How many of you paid yourselves from last night's uh, movement? Okay. How many of you paid yourselves? from Bitcoin's move yesterday, which was fate, which was to the upside. Type one, if you actually paid yourself. Type two, if you went short. I want to know that the, the, the pattern watchers are watching patterns. I want to make sure that you guys are getting this information. Isaac, there is plenty. There, there are a lot of videos in the masterclass sessions that do talk on the scalping aspect. OK. They do mention them, man. So please make your way over to them. If you haven't managed to get through 58 of them, man, there's a lot there. But it's all for the nature of learning. Here we go. Yeah, OK. So twos, twos, twos. Nice, nice. Two and one. I like that. I like that. Excellent. 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 All right, then. So I'm hoping that no one lost money. And if you did not, OK, if you did not, capitalize on any move on bitcoin never mind why 
it goes up, it goes down. <laughs> it's simple as that. All right. It is literally Bitcoin is the electrocardiogram of the crypto heart. That's what it is. It's up and down. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got some movement, man. Bitcoin, make that move. Where are we at? 22. Ladies and gentlemen, 3 p.m. Yellen is going to be opening her mouth and going to start causing riot for the dollar index. I hope that she says something really messed up, which is going to shockwave the dollar index, send Bitcoin to the upside, ruin the likelihood of dollar yen making a further move to the upside. I mean, how much more can it go? You know, and this is what I'm saying about trading. The idea of rational behavior should be completely removed from your mindset because the market can be as irrational as it wants. You can't. All right. You have to maintain the idea of rationalism so that you can preserve your gains. Pay yourselves daily. You come to the game of scalping. If you ain't paying yourselves as often as you can, ladies and gentlemen, then it's no good for you. The game's no good. You will never pay yourself. You'll go and work for free. That's what you'll do. Because by you not paying yourselves when you see these beautiful moves, you are denying yourself the opportunity to accept the gift of the market maker. Remember, it's his money you take. Don't give him yours. Now, don't get it twisted, man. The game is hard. Trading is hard. Okay? But when you get into the practice of behaving and understanding the way they're moving, you're going to see these moves. Okay? Look at how we are understanding this structure right now. There's no liquidity up there, but there's liquidations here. That tells me there's liquidity in the order book. Bang! Nice little liquidation point starting. They're going to move that up now. It's going to start increasing. There's liquidity there. They contain price in this range to test traders' commitment to come in and out of the charts. There's traders already that opened orders and counseled them up here. So Mr. Market Maker will say, you know what? Let's get price up here. Let's see if we can get some attention from traders that are prepared to sell and buy at this point right here. So what they do is they consolidate price. They hold it in the certain ranges. We are coming close towards the psychological low. This is a very important point in the chart. If they can't break above this point right here, ladies and gentlemen, then the psychological low is going to be a problem for us. But we've had a couple of licks right here. Look, the red, the green vector candle has brought price up and then the next blue vector fully recovered it for it to only come back up again. So we are waiting for another pump. This point is where we would expect another pump in price on the principle of them absorbing the liquidations for the liquidity that's trapped up here on the traders who are short. Now, what have we got? 30,346 Bitcoin. OK, so principle would say that we need to see that stay static in the chart because you saw earlier on 500 Bitcoin snapped up like no tomorrow. So if they do cancel the orders here, quickly put them here, we would expect price to continue further up. Here we go. Psychological low. Come on. Make that move, Bitcoin, 357 liquidations, not really great. It's not that much. I want it in the thousands. First point of interest here is the VWAP. That's where the VWAP resides. There's liquidity in this range. There is no reason as to why they won't go up there. And there's no reason as to why they will. Okay. We are making the assumption that the liquidity is present based on the orders that are present in the order book. Okay. Just because we see that doesn't mean it has to happen. Okay. So remember that. Be mindful of that. Here we go. We've got a little bit of movement back down. 300 Bitcoin was planted there and it's gone. Okay, that's good news for us. Delta, what's it doing? 75 Bitcoin, that's not really much, but I'm seeing them slowing down on price action. I would ideally like them to come back down and recover this point, to be honest with you, so that we can be safe in the knowledge that we ain't got to worry about vector points because there is a wick right there. Ethereum, what's that doing? Is Ethereum, Ethereum's trading nicely to the upside. That's working nicely. Green vector's up. Still far away from a psychological low with the problem of the 200 EMA in the chart itself might be an issue for us. I need to go into the smaller time frames on Bitcoin just to make sense of what's going on in terms of vectors. Here we go. We've got the stopping hunt play right there. Remember, the New York session is the stop hunt zone. Look at this for a brink session, man. Look at this madness right here. Trap the trader short. Stopping volume. Stopping volume. Green vector candle appearing out of nowhere. OK, little mini W structure right there. Three hits to the low. Happy days. Stopping volume candle shifts price all the way back up. Now they're starting to act all wiki right here. I don't like that. As long as they stay above the 50 EMA, it's yippee to the upside. But we've got three zones, four zones. Psychological low, yesterday's low, psychological high, and that range daily low right there. Come on, BTC, make it happen. Here we go. We've got the movement. 
Come on, Delta right there, 226 Delta. Look, liquidity's disappeared. That 30,000 liquidity has gone. All right, it has disappeared. Not in, hitting the liquidations yet, but the market might actually slow down in relation to the comments by Yellen at 3 p.m. today. Here we go, 506. The liquidity is there. Tap, tap, tap. They don't want to throw off the traders. They just want to run to certain zones, pull back a little bit, give them the idea that it's going to actually drop back down because that's the narrative right now. Traders that are short right now fighting with the trend to believe that price is actually going to go um, going to go lower. So Mr. Market Maker will spike price up. He will bring it back down just to get their confidence increased so that they don't have to worry about closing their trades. Remember, he wants to keep their liquidity for as long as they physically can in the charts and as close towards their liquidation points as possible. That's the nature of the game. Remember, it's a money run. They don't care about the livelihood of Bitcoin. They don't care about the problems or the issues or the great things that Bitcoin can resolve. OK, they're not interested in that. We are. We are the crypto enthusiasts. We are the guys that will research white papers. Market making ain't looking at no white paper. The only paper he's looking at is green. And that's the paper he looks at. You know? The dollar. The dollar value of one move to the next. Okay? That's why they are always able to provide us opportunities to trade. That's why the liquidity is always there. There's always someone there for you to buy and sell into. Because they provide that liquidity, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Oh, my days. We hope that the dollar does actually drop. That's what we do hope for. We hope that the dollar index does. That's the truth. <laughs> Tino, bro, why do you think Bitcoin's going to explode to the upside? Or are you telling my... <laughs> Why do I think Bitcoin's going to explode to the upside? I don't think Bitcoin's going to explode to the upside, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you what the chart is showing me. It's giving me a reason to believe that Bitcoin's making its way back up by the principle of the vector candles. Why? Because that's where the liquidity resides. Recovery of the red vector candle, green vector candle, 50 EMA. We are expecting them to come back up into the range. Psychological high is nearby, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's the truth of the game. Look at this. Price coming up. We've had one, two, three liquidation points here. Nothing's happening here. That's a problem. I don't like that. I want to see the liquidity there. But they're being fair with us. They're keeping price contained. But we do have Yellen speaking very shortly. We've had a new 15-minute candle come out. Here we go. Come on, Bitcoin. That psychological low is what I want. Psychological low will put Bitcoin back into a range, if I'm correct. Because that's where they are able to build their positions from yet again. You can see price action is just absolutely terrible. Look, psychological low brings it into a consolidation again. But they would have come back up into the previous red vector. So they've achieved 50% of that candlestick right there. All right. Next principle would say that we would expect price to move back up again. That's what we are expecting. Okay. The green vector candle hasn't been recovered just yet. But we are in a stop hunt zone, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So if Yellen starts to say something positive for the dollar, Bitcoin will rip back down. If she says something negative for the dollar and doesn't actually show that there's a chance that we're going to solve anything in the future, then we are likely to see Bitcoin move up and everyone take their money out of the dollar index and start seeking alternative investments because of people's response to inflation. But remember, the data is coming out this week on Friday. So Yellen might not actually say anything important, but we will get volatility at 3 p.m. I'm going to try and see if I can stay on. This is it. Taron Crypto Market Maker is a he is a liquidity pool with malice. That's it. That's all it is. Dollar index dropping. Yeah. OK, listen, what you'll find sometimes is Bitcoin. Look at that. Nice play. Nice play. Dollar index is dropping aggressively. Be careful because this could be the stop hunt low in preparation for what Yellen's about to say. I would love to see dollar index drop, which could be preparing Bitcoin for the move. But listen, what happened last week, guys? Bitcoin was moving down when all the indexes that were showing favor to the upside were moving higher. But Bitcoin was moving down. Of course, we saw the response to that and it moved up. OK. Be very careful. They're going to move money from one asset to the next to get it into Bitcoin if they are able to exploit any movement. Remember, shorts are heavy in this zone. All right. 
We're going to wait and see if Mr. Market Maker can exploit price to the upside very shortly. Here we go. Liquidity at 30,363. It wasn't there a few moments ago. Now we're going to start seeing them coming into that point. Not really taking any of the liquidation points in this zone. It's trading sideways. They're waiting for Yellen, ladies and gentlemen. They are waiting for Yellen. That's what they're doing. We need that psychological low to be taken. So she will just BS to keep the dollar good. Probably. That's probably exactly what's going to happen. You know? But they're saying that dollar yen could reach 150. So we just got to be very careful with these ranges. Again, if you're able to exploit movement in the charts, pay yourselves. The best times for me to trade are early hours in the morning, like 7 a.m. between 7 and 9 a.m. Those are the best times for me to trade because that's the brink session for the UK session itself coming into the close of the Asian session. All right. Then, of course, we have the US session right here, but we're doing the live stream right now. So we ain't got time to really exploit it, but we do have some trades on which we will look to exploit later on and hope that Bitcoin does make the move that we anticipate. How many likes? 521 likes. It's all good, man. As long as you all, you are all here, happy days. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. If you haven't downloaded the indicators, pinned to the top of the chat is the access to the indicator. It's free of charge. You want to learn more about the hybrid, make your way over to the Patreon where you can join that community there where we dive into it a little bit more deeper in understanding the hybrid system. Now look, 10 to not doing much, guys. Pay attention to the liquidity up here. Pay attention to this zone, okay? The idea is that this is an advert. It's an advert for the auction place that is happening right now in the charts. It's saying to me that there are guys who are prepared to buy at this point. So that means Mr. Market Maker has to hit the bids and encourage people to sell. At the same token, they've got liquidity up here. So we need it to break higher above that VWAP. If it breaks above the VWAP, ladies and gentlemen, happy days. Here she goes. Liquidation's coming in. The liquidity is there for them to take. Here we go. Psychological low taken. Happy days. Pay attention here. Look, a thousand Bitcoin just literally came in. Right there it is again. A thousand Bitcoin. It's 2,000 Bitcoin in that spot. Look at it. 800. Something's going off. This is a pump, ladies and gentlemen. This is the nice pump. 700, 800 Bitcoin. Absorbed. Done. Eaten. 1,200 Bitcoin. Nice. 800 again. A thousand Bitcoin again. Wow. They are smacking this zone. They are ripping this range apart, man. Psychological low, eaten alive, happy days. Now we've got the VWAP right there. $33,000 worth of liquidations in this zone in 12 events. That's inside at this point right now, guys, in the last couple of seconds or so, okay? But you see that there. Those big orders triggering in the algorithm. Smack, get them filled. Smack, get them filled whilst we're hitting the liquidation points from the opposite orders. Remember, Mr. Market Maker goes long when price drops. Retail trader goes short. His liquidation points are all set in this zone, ladies and gentlemen. These are where his margins are, all right? So Mr. Market Maker, in order to obtain his orders in his profits, he has to move against price so that he can trigger that liquidity to the left side of the chart to release it so he can realize a return on his investment and build more positions on the way back up. You see, he moves price all the way back up again, guys. He's building his shorts because you can only go short if someone goes long and you can only go long if someone goes short. That's the dynamics of the marketplace, ladies and gentlemen. That's the dynamics. You know? auction it is bro it is it is an auction place let's see what ethereum's doing is ethereum moving up see ethereum's taking her time man i don't like that but it's coming up towards the 50 ema but we see the volatility with bitcoin that's what we like to see but she's going to be she's already worked this one zone right here she needs to take that psychological low that's the truth she has to eat that psychological low if she can obtain that psychological low then it's happy days what time are we on eight minutes left Eight minutes. Are they going to do it, guys? It's a bit of a controlled zone, in my honest opinion, but uh, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Let me have a look at what you guys are saying here. Conspiracy theories are real. Yes, they are real. OK, it's real to the person who believes in it. And whatever evidence there is, it's it's all subjective, in my opinion. But the market maker is not a conspiracy because the basis of trading would not exist without the market maker. We're not talking about the pit traders back in the day in Jesse Livermore's eyes. OK, where we're talking about traders 100 years ago. No, 
because back then it was based on who was there on the other end to buy and sell. All right. Because there were physical traders in the bucket shops. That's what they called them. Now, we've digitalized trading. There will always be someone providing liquidity. There will never be an instance where there is no one providing liquidity, even when you have low liquid markets. All right. There is still liquidity being provided to them. This is just not as often as you would expect it to be. OK. Dollar index. Look, if the dollar index is dropping down hard, right? If it's dropping down, but Bitcoin isn't really moving up, something's brewing. Something is brewing because Bitcoin naturally will always revert back up when dollar index drops. Dollar yen at the same token should be coming down. Yeah, OK, it's a mediocre drop. I'm, I'm cool with that. Euro USD should be flying up. There you go. Euro USD making a move up there. And then, of course, back into Bitcoin, it's muted. The response is muted, man. I don't like that. Is it all going to be about Yellen? I believe it's all going to be about what she says. Calendar, where are we at? How long's left? Treasury Secretary Yellen speaks. OK, then, cool. Let's see if we're going to get that move or not, man. Hmm. 281 Bitcoin there, 115, 158. We've got orders stacked at 31, 30,100. 30,000 has had three, 400 Bitcoin in that zone, okay? And they've cancelled it and they've just regulated the market by just keeping certain orders there. I don't like that. Why are they advertising that and taking it away? Look what's going on. They're just containing price. It's all for Yellen, ladies and gentlemen. So be careful with the dollar index because it could be a stop hunt low. Be mindful of that. Two block trades right here, 243 and 255, waiting at the 30,100 zone. Okay. In crypto craft, it says low impact expected from her speech. Even if it is a low impact, okay, it's an excuse for them to move price. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the mini market maker. Okay. It's an excuse to get price to a certain point. Look, the only indicators out there in terms of news announcements that are moving markets are the CPI, all right, and non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate. Those are the ones that move, all right? But unless Powell is talking, what anyone else says is irrelevant. But then saying that, how many people are going to respond to Yellen's comment? Because there are thousands of traders watching the charts right now. So we could get a little bit of a movement. And that's going to be happening in the next four minutes time, ladies and gentlemen, three minutes time. Is this level two on Ethereum? Could this be a false move? Uh, then another push down for the level three peak formation. Look, if you're looking look on smaller time frames, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to ask yourself the question. OK, what are your zones that you're going to be trading from? This is your range. Your goal is to try and understand the relationship between the way they're hitting price lower and or they're trying to move it out of the range to go higher. Mark off the zones in the chart that you think they could actually go to. And then when you've done that, you make the commitment, claim responsibility, be accountable. If you're right, happy days, pay yourself. If you're wrong, cut the trade, start again. OK, here we go. We've got some movement now. 11K, they've just trapped those longs. There we go. They're coming back into this point right here. Very interesting point. We go three minutes into the start of a new one hour candle. Remember, this is the 15 minute time frame, guys. So be mindful. It's a violet vector candle right here. If we're looking to recover this green vector, may even hit that wick right there as well, ladies and gentlemen. Orders are coming in here. This is where interest should be coming into the chart, guys, at this point right here. Should be coming in at this point. Start of a new one hour candle. Two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. How is the US going to respond to Yellen's comment? Bitcoin dominance is coming down. It was at 47 or so earlier on today. NASDAQ seems to be breaking higher. That's good news for us. What I mean, why NASDAQ? Why is NASDAQ moving higher? Bitcoin ain't showing the beef yet. Gap down in the S&P, ladies and gentlemen. That's a sad day for the S&P. So we should be looking at seeing them recover that point. Gold. Let's have a look at gold. Gold is moving higher, man. That's what I mean. Gold is moving up. OK, so traders are feeling quite concerned about what Yellen may actually say, even if it is a low impact. 
recovery of the red vector candle in this zone if it does come back up into this point we would expect them to sell from this zone because it's where they last sold from and we would expect them to start triggering certain orders of liquidations of shorts in this zone so we could see yesterday's high in gold given with the news announcements in the next couple of minutes let me just roll over to bitcoin a second bitcoin coming down all right then here we go so it hasn't actually broken down completely 118,000 liquidation so they're working in threes so we should wait for literally where is it here we go 40 seconds ladies and gentlemen i'm going to go into the smaller time frames five minute just to make sense of it wick 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 to the upside okay so look stopping volume stopping volume all right they're hitting the highs they're taking traders liquidity look guys who previously went short in this zone paid the price fully recovered that zone right there then we have this point bitcoin needs to break this point to go high if it can't get above that point it's yippee to the downside and keep a mindful look on this um wick right here and last week's low but it's all going to be on what yellen does and yellen might not even cause anything and if it doesn't then i'll be really on upset because i would have delayed myself picking up my daughter all for yellen here we go 418 bitcoin at 29800 here we go three o'clock ladies and gentlemen she's due to say something right now we need to just pay attention to the dollar index just keep an eye out on dollar index right here at 102518 we want to see that dropping down here we go 3 p.m. ladies and gentlemen magic hour the brinks box has been formed all right so we are now waiting for the move this is where we will know the truth of the move ladies and gentlemen be mindful ah dollar index coming up yeah dollar index is moving up there it is stop hunt low rise is that what they're trying to do to us bitcoin dropping down guys there you go recovery of the green vector with the wick 19k that liquidity is still present in the charts look at that gone it's all gone spoofs done not interested delta right there 443 bitcoin at that delta point ladies and gentlemen this is where it's going to get tricky right listen because of the cpi index readings later on this week ladies and gentlemen bitcoin might actually consolidate in this zone we could get a couple of pumps to the upside all right tonight i'll be doing a video on the channel just to help you understand the differences with these certain plays that you see in the chart on a day-to-day -day basis and i haven't got the worry of price action or steve calling at any moment okay but listen if you are new to the channel guys one more time be sure to like and subscribe get with the pattern watchers flavor get to the discord everything you need is pinned to the top of the chat and just enjoy the journey guys it's crazy but remember they only care about the liquidity mad love and respect ladies and gentlemen take care of yourselves Peace.